everybody. Uh, this is my Sony Walkman, and um, it has a few issues with it. It plays okay, but it can be a little bit tough to get it to auto reverse, and uh, it doesn't really stop at the end of the tape. So I'm going to show you what's happening here, and I'm pretty sure the belt inside is getting stretched and not really holding much torque anymore, so that's why it's happening. Okay, so through the magic of video, I already removed the back. Now the casing on this thing just clips off. It's, it's unfortunately not screwed on, so you end up sometimes breaking some of these tabs on the end here. You can see that one there is busted. The rest seem okay. I put batteries in here, and we're going to load up a tape, and I'm going to play it, and we'll see what happens. Okay. So what you can see there, a tape has been loaded and it's actually all the way near the end. I'm gonna rewind it a little bit. Okay, and let's stop it and have open this up again to have a look. Okay, you can see there's tape there. So we're gonna play it. It's in the forward direction and see what happens when it gets to the end of the tape, okay? Here it goes. See, it's turning and turning and it stops, but it doesn't do anything. It's supposed to stop or it's supposed to go into the other direction. The belt is, is messed up in this thing. It's just not working. See, it's not turning at all now. So I'm going to remove this top here and we're going to try to change the belt. I have these, I got a, a variety pack and we're gonna try to find a belt that's similar and close to the size that's needed and we'll try it in. All right, so what you can see here is the, the belt and the tape mechanism there. It's nicely drawn on the circuit board here. You can see it's showing you how it's done, but it's uh, backwards. So it's basically going around the motor, winding around here, around this big wheel, and then going straight back, you see? That's what we have here. But this belt is very, very unelastic at this point, and it's very loose. So when I put it on here, it's really not doing much. See, I got it there, and look how stretchy it is. I mean, it's... It's really barely do, uh, barely having any tension. So I'm going to try to find something that's smaller in this variety pack here and seeing if we can get something that will fit. Because I'm not sure exactly the dimensions I need, but uh, we'll try it out. I don't think it says there anything, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is the original belt, and I found a few others that are kind of similar in size, but not quite. But uh, I just want to show you the quality control here in this uh, assortment of belts here is pretty crap. Look at this belt here that I got. Looks chewed up and completely the wrong size. So you're not gonna get anything good. Not only that, but they're definitely thicker than they told me. I asked for a belt that was somewhere about 0.67 millimeters side and this is more like a millimeter and a half or you know even two and there's nothing in here that's thin so they basically lied in the listing they're all quite thick you know so but you know if it stretches and it fits and it stays on track hopefully it's going to apply enough torque to the motor to allow it to uh to continue to spin so we'll see what happens i'm going to try it to fit one of these in Okay, so I managed to get one of these belts in there. You can see it's quite a bit thicker than the old belt, but hopefully it'll stay on the track. And uh, when I, I put the batteries in here, I have to press this button here. It'll actuate, and you can see the thing is turning. Um, so I'm going to kind of assemble it halfway here and see what happens with the tape at the end. Okay, so there the tape is in. It's almost near the end here. And we'll have it on this direction. I'm going to close it. I'm going to play. 
And we'll see what happens. Playing. Still going. Should reach the end soon. And should it should flip because it's set to auto reverse mode. Okay, there it's at the end. And it flipped. And it's continuing and now it's going the other way. See? Watch, let's flip it again. I'm gonna play it. It's at the end. Have a look here. It's gonna switch direction any moment now. There. And now it's going the other way. So that was it. So yeah, the tension on this thing was just very, very low and it would slip when it gets to the end of the tape. It didn't have enough friction. Um, and one of these guys, which you can see in comparison, is actually, you know, looking a little smaller, but much thicker, uh, did the job. So cross our fingers. I mean, this whole package of rubber bands here cost me about nine bucks. And I could have bought an authentic uh, band for this Walkman, but it would have cost even, you know, maybe double that with the shipping because I'm not anywhere near a place that sells anything for these things. So I'd have to order it online and shipping would just be too much. So I thought, you know what? Let's see what these will do. And, you know, this probably will help allow me to fix a lot of other players that I have. They're not the greatest quality, as you saw. You know, quality control is terrible on these things. But you get enough bands that it makes up for it. Let's try this out. Put it in here. It's queued up on side B, almost near the end. And we have it on auto reverse. It's set to play this direction. And let's put the headset close to it. And here we go. Hopefully you'll be able to hear something. Okay. Okay, it's run off the end of the tape. It's gonna stop. And switches. And now it's going the other direction. No problem at all. Thanks to these cheap elastic rubbery replacements. Okay. And I doubt they're gonna last very long. Unfortunately, I don't believe they're gonna be as reliable as the original belt. But I have enough, so if I open this up every few years to change it, I can extend the life of this thing a little longer. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.